Oh my gosh, dude! Oh no! Yes, everybody, you guessed it on my social media. Today's stealth camping video takes us to the amazing A&W in Barrie, Ontario, Canada. We are going to start off our 24-hour stay at A&W just before lunch, then get an early afternoon snack. But just before our late afternoon snack, we are interrupted by a phone call from an awesome YouTuber and friend from California. So we'll skip our late afternoon snack and grab a spicy dinner and later a late night high calorie bite. We'll then set up our stealthy SUV camper and get a great night's sleep, but be awakened by a small rain shower. For the rest of the morning, we'll have a surprise breakfast and a fantastic A&W brunch. If this sounds like an exciting video that you want to watch, then grab something to eat, sit back and enjoy the video. Well, there's our next home, 24 hours at A&W. All right, we have made it to one of my favorite A&W locations in Barrie, Ontario, Canada. And we're starting off our day quarter to 11 to do our stealth camping. And we're gonna be eating at A&W for 24 hours, as you probably already guessed. I don't know what I want to do for lunch. I think I'm going to do one of my favorite things of all time. Hi, thank you. Hi, uh, can I do the uh, team burger combo with bacon? Team burger combo with, yeah, with bacon. Sir. Oh, okay. Just making sure. Yeah, with the fries? <laughs> uh, uh, yes, please. And uh, the uh, root beer. Sure. Anything else? That's it, thanks. Price. Thank you. All right, $12.41 is our first meal for 24 hours. Hello, thank you. Uh, no thanks. Okay, perfect. Got it, thanks. Sure, all right, fresh fries coming out. We've got some shady spots too, ladies and gentlemen. Not meaning like bad spots, but shady spots, you with trees and all. Great, thank you. You too. All right, people, let's park it. All right, guys, we are parked. Let's go to the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? All right, guys. Got up this morning, went on the computer, was trying to figure out what I wanted to do, where I wanted to do it, checking out all the different locations and their hours. This seemed like the best location, but by the time I realized that this would be the best location, I had to drive up here and it was like i said quarter to 11 and uh unfortunately i missed probably their breakfast time uh, i'm hoping that they do serve some of their breakfast because i know they had like a limited breakfast menu options but uh, we got lots of napkins we got our team burger which is one of my favorite I, the guy asked me if i want to catch up i said no one two three four ketchups <laughs> Oh, five. What happens if you actually say, I want ketchup? Do they give you 10? <laughs> Clean the hands. All right, guys, going in for an extreme close up of our A&W team burger combo with bacon. Of course it has bacon on it. I was just making sure there's a beautiful A&W logo and an image of the root beer on the side. Can't wait to get into that. We've got our golden french fries that are going to be screaming hot. Peel on and look at this burger. Look at this bun. We've got toasted sesame seeds on top. Let's see if they toast underneath. Uh, doesn't look like they toast it. Maybe a little bit. Mm, I don't know. And then we've got our lettuce. One of the things I've noticed about A&W is they use this whole leaf lettuce but it makes the lid slide right off every time. I love whole leaf lettuce, but it is crazy big. And uh, like I said, it just makes it slide off because right on the slidey mayonnaise onto the slidey lettuce onto the slidey tomato. Jeez. But uh, and this is, like I said, this is a great tasting burger. Let's just take things off one at a time. Look at that bacon. Just check it out from this angle. It's probably one of the best fast food bacons on the market. Look at that pickle on the side. 
We've got some cheddar cheese and some teen sauce and some, I think, um, mustard down there. We got onion. Oh, yeah, let's get into this thing. Start eating. Oh, just noticed bonus fry sneaking away. I'm trying to sneak away as a garbage fry, but we rescued it. Let's just try these fries first, see how screaming hot they are. Mm hmm. Oh, I don't know what they cook these in. Got the flavor. It's wonderful. Lightly salted, crunchy. Take a sip of this wonderful A&W root beer. All right, let's take a bite. It's so good. Oh, ketchup was one of the one things I missed on there. Tons of onions. Four pickles. This is what I wanted to start my 24 hours off, but I still haven't had a coffee. And I noticed a sign right here while I was waiting for my fries. They have new coffee. So when we're done this, we'll see what they have on tap for snacks and we'll get a snacky kind of thing and a coffee and see if their coffee's any good. And if it, even if it isn't any good, I need a coffee. Look at all that beautiful goodness in there. One of the problems with this particular plaza is it's very small. So the other plazas that have like a Walmart in it, they're so big that I can get a lot of walking in uh, to help kill time. And burn calories. A couple more bites and we're done. Such a messy meals is like dripped everywhere. So let's kill off these fries. They're not going anywhere. Do you love A&W French fries? Yes or no? Let me know in the comments below. I figure since he gave me five of these, I gotta at least use one of them. I need like long French fries. Make a little bit of a tabletop. Put some ketchup on it. Is that how you do it? Ketchup and French fries are like just perfect together, aren't they? Once again, I'm just gonna sit back, relax, enjoy this wonderful nectar of the gods, and then uh, we'll go in there eventually and grab a coffee and maybe some type of a treat. Cheers. <music> All right, it's time for a snack, and I was just looking at their app. How did that rhyme? Anyway, so they have like apple turnovers and chocolate, double chocolate turnovers, hash browns. Like there's no a poutine. Uh, there's no like sweet snacks except those two that I can see. So let's go in there and try this double chocolate turnover and a coffee, and I'll be right back and enjoy it with you. Are you ready? We'll see if this coffee's any good. Let's go. black coffee and your chocolate turnover, please. Yeah. Thank you, you very much. Uh, please for this. I'm sorry? Uh, for the coffee, do you want please? Oh, no, thanks. Okay, then we get it first. Thank you. All right, we are back in the car once again. Got our coffee. I thought at this last second he said, do you want cream with that? And I couldn't, again, the whole mask thing sometimes muffles people's voices. And I, I but he meant sleeve. Uh, so I might Yeah, it might be really hot to hold, but let's just open this up. I'm really hoping that a w coffee is a wonderful thing We've got this double chocolate turnover It's warm. He had it done really quickly, so I'm not sure how they got it done so fast All right going in for the extreme close-up of this brand new a w coffee and double chocolate turnover. Look at the sky in that coffee and the green trees. <laughs> Look at that steam coming off there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna burn ourselves. I predict burning of the lips and tongue. We'll come down here to this beautiful chocolate looking double chocolate turnover. 
we'll have to try and break it open show you how it what it looks like inside okay first off let's try this coffee mmm it's strong coffee good coffee but it's strong all right let's see if we can break this open oh my gosh dude oh no oh boy look at this gooey goodness no wonder it's double chocolate holy smokes I thought it was just gonna pour out and be a huge mess is there steam coming out of it I don't see steam coming out of it that means we could probably bite it without burning ourselves let's check it out mmm crispy on the outside warm and chocolatey on the inside tastes like a brownie that's what it tastes like. Tastes, like. tastes like a deep fried brownie with extra goo in the middle. Mmm. It's not bad. This is the first time I've ever attempted to eat a sweet thing here at A&W. Mmm. Still pretty hot. Wow. That's good. Let me know if you've tried the uh, double chocolate turnover. If you find yourself needing a coffee and there's an A&W around the corner, give it a shot. I should have taken the sleeve. Wow! A&W, good job on the chocolate. Oh no! I didn't go on my shirt. We averted a problem. Once again, I'm just going to sit back, relax, enjoy this coffee, uh, and then I'm going to clean this mess up because it's all over the place. Uh, and then sit back, watch some videos, read some emails, and then we'll do uh, a, maybe a mid-afternoon snack. I'll do that apple turnover. All right, it's 10 after 4. Before we go in for our snack, we're going to uh, get out our inverter and uh, blow up our air mattress. And that way we'll get our snack and then we'll go sit in the back have our snack and uh, play some video games or something. Well, that's good to go. All right, here's our bed. First things first, we gotta take this out. And that goes in a special spot right here. Just like that. Way to go, Volkswagen. Now we're just gonna put some stuff like this in the back. Just to get my seats down. Change of clothes, hat, an extra hat, just in case it gets freezing tonight. Put my camera bag away. All right, so we gotta uh, just kind of shift everything to one side. Sorry about the wind. Once again, one of the things I, I like about having this is it kind of fills in this gap over here. And we'll get this out later. Plug inside that zip area. That is the storage. Plug in this. I'm going to time it this time so I can tell you guys how long it takes to inflate this fully. Switch and I'll hit it. Okay, time, 1 minute and 12 seconds. That's not bad. I'm just going to get out the sleeping bag. Actually, I probably won't need it from till later, so... Whoa, shake it the camera. But we will need this to charge our phone while we're playing games watching videos all right let's go get our snack all right so we gotta unplug this stuff 
put it away. Won't need it again until the next stealth. Let's move you this way. There you go. Unplug. Not the easiest thing to unplug. Did you see that? It was fighting me tooth and nail. Alright, I don't know what we're gonna get for a snack. I'm thinking maybe a poutine. What do you think? Let's go. Alright guys, I was just about to go in and get my snack. That was like an hour and a half ago. And then I got a phone call from Blum Gum. Blum Gum, say hi. What's up guys? <laughs> Talking to my man Ken. I'm so excited to see his new video here. Thanks for calling, buddy. Uh, so uh, Blum Gum is working on some new awesome uh, content for his channel, and uh, so we just had we're catching up on old times. Let him know what's going to happen, hopefully in the quick near future. Yeah, so uh, we're working on some new content here. Um, you know, we're trying to step it up a notch, just like Ken has. But not only that, uh, we likely are going to go uh, into the Instagram realm as well, in, uh, on top of uh, YouTube just because we like to make short videos and we like to make long videos. All of them are gonna be entertaining though, so make sure you stay tuned. All right, Blungum, see you later, buddy. All right, cool. Ciao. I appreciate you, Karen. We'll talk to you soon, okay? See you, buddy. Well, that was a totally unexpected call. Now that it's dinner time, let's get some food. I would like to do their fish and chips, but I wanna do that tomorrow. They also have this chicken habanero sandwich that I would like to try just for you and just for you. Are you guys ready? Let's get it. I'm gonna try that uh, spicy habanero chicken burger uh, with onion rings. I, I'll do a water and and the uh, root beer, please. All right, thanks. All right, 1760 for our dinner. I saw poutine on the thing. We'll do that later for our late night snack. Sound good? Sounds good. All right. Whoa, thank you. Could I get uh, one vinegar? And one salt, please. Thank you. You too. Do you uh, guys do the uh, root beer float? Yeah, we do root beer float. Okay, so if I did a walk in, you guys could make me a root yeah. beer float? All right, yeah. thank you. All right, people, let's park it. All right, guys, we're all parked. Let's go in for a close up. I couldn't order a drink without saying root beer at AW. I grabbed a water to help flush all this down afterwards. And we've got these onion rings. They, they look beautiful. I love a and root beer onion rings, but they seem a little overcooked. You may agree or disagree with me. Some of you guys might like your, your onion rings overcooked a little bit, but uh, that's a little bit overcooked and I like it. Oh well, not sure what happened there. And we got this habanero chicken sandwich. Then we got those crazy huge chunks. Where do they got this lettuce from? It's so crazy big. And we got that beautiful tomato and then the habanero chicken. And I think the habanero sauce is underneath. Uh, I guess that's the habanero sauce. Are you guys ready? Let's eat it. Take another sip of our beautiful creamy root beer. Mm. The problem with this setup is it's just gonna go through the bag, isn't it? So I'm gonna put my vinegar on there. If you've never done vinegar on your onion rings, please give it a shot. It'll be your new favorite thing. My wife and I used to go to drive-in movies and uh, we would get souvlaki, onion rings, and a whole bunch of other stuff, milkshakes. And then we'd get there and we'd lay it all out. And of course, we both agree that salt and vinegar on your onion rings is the most incredible taste ever. And it's gotta be in this style of onion ring. This is my favorite right here. Oh, although it is burnt, isn't it? It is burnt. That's overcooked. A very different breading than anybody else. You can see that beautiful big chunk of onion inside there. Mm. Very thick cut onions. And delicious. All done my rings. Let's move on to this habanero burger. I for, I for some reason I thought it was more like a creamy sauce than a non-creamy sauce. Does that look like a creamy sauce to you? Doesn't look like a creamy sauce to me. I don't know, it's had this vision of a uh, orangey type cream sauce. Let's see if we can slide this around so that it doesn't fall apart. Look at it, it's like, woo, slip and slide. Slip and slide habanero burger. New at a &W. Let's eat. Mmm, whoa. Mmm. Mm. 
the hot sauce being on the bottom has definitely impacted my tongue. The lettuce and tomato are perfect touch for this. The chicken patty is good. The uh, breading on the chicken is nice and crunchy. It's not soggy. The spice level out of out of 10, two, maybe three, it's not affecting me a whole lot. Definitely not the hottest chicken sandwich I've ever had. The flavor of the habanero is coming through a little bit now. I think I'd rather have this than the regular chicken sandwich, just because of the nice sting on the tongue. Yeah. A few more bites and we're done. All done, my fabulous a and dinner. Let's go sit in the back and uh, check out some video games. All right. Again, one of the things I'll need in the near future is some type of a drink holder because there's nothing back here for any of that kind of stuff. First thing we gotta do, you always have to plug in your phone, make sure you don't lose your power. Uh, this is a power aid, that's just a sticker. Gotta make sure that light is on. You can do two phones. I believe it can charge your phone up five times, so that's a good thing to bring on flights and stuff and where I go up to the cottage and you're not sitting near a plug. Uh, but one of the games I love to play is Panda Pop. It's I love puzzles and this is a great little puzzle game. So I'm on level 1009 and it gets quite chaotic. So you got all these bubbles, you got to pop them all with the same, you have to match three balls uh, to make it go away. Uh, so like this is a yellow ball and then you have to aim with your thumb, click on that right there. Oh, so I made all those bubbles disappear and then it dropped. Anyway, another game I like to play is Hill Climb. I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen this. Fingersoft Hill Climb Racing. So you, you get cars, uh, you can tune them up to make them better climbers, better wheels, better engines, better suspension and all that stuff. Uh, and then you can have a stage and a stage is where you are, a desert, arctic, ro uh, countryside. And they have to pay for upgrades uh, through getting points, not money-wise. But So, uh, for instance, the moon is one of my favorite because you get a lot of hang time. And if we do vehicle, and the rally car is my favorite car, and then you hit start. All right, let's go. Whoa, there's some air time. Got to get gas. Got to collect some coins. Oh yeah, and then you can do a you can do some aerial maneuvers. Let's see if I can get an aerial maneuver happening. Right here. Whoa! Flip, flip, flip. Oh yeah, an extra thousand points. Oh yeah, look at that. One, two, and then you get points for breaking your neck. It's kind of fun. Good game. Good game. It is quarter after 10 and uh, they close at 11 so I just want to make sure there's time that I get there in time and uh, for snacks I think we should do uh, a root beer float because I asked them if they make root beer floats and they do and a poutine let's go crazy all right uh, I'm gonna try your root beer float yeah, for sure. and a uh, poutine please nine dollars and seventy cents on this poutine extravaganza with a float. Thank you. Have a great evening. Pardon? I put your straw in the bag. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Bye. All right, guys, we were all parked. Uh, it was funny. I was watching her make this, and I was under the impression that they use like soft cream ice cream, but maybe either because of COVID or maybe because I've never ordered it before. I didn't know how they made it. Uh, she actually filled it up to a certain spot. Then she had like a big round puck of ice cream that she threw in there, then put this lid on it and then filled the rest up 
to make my float. I was totally looking forward to like a soft serve ice cream kind of thing. But uh, hey, a float is a float is a float. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta like maybe mix it up a bit more. All right. <laughs> this big huge chunk of ice cream in my root beer. Here we go, cheers. Oh, root beer is good. Root beer float, next level. I got my new cold forged dining set to uh, help the world in, in its pollution thing. So you just pull this out the side. Again, it's the same size of a, as a uh, credit card. So the other one's a knife. That's a new and improved knife. Maybe I should show you guys. I'm not gonna be using it tonight, but it's way more serrated. I don't believe this one is uh, TSA approved, but that serrated edge right there is way more sharp than the last one that I used on a steak. We got our fork, and uh, here is our poutine. I haven't had an A&W poutine in a very long time. <gasps> Did you see that? Oh my gosh, the, <laughs> the gravy just shot all over my steering wheel. I had to do a major clean. All right, so poutine is French fries, cheese curds, gravy, and A&W does use real cheese curds, as you can see. Mmm. This gravy, is it, is it hot? It's not very hot. I'm not sure what's going on. The cheese curds are usually refrigerated, which is kind of normal for fast food places, but um, yeah, this thing needs to be nuked. And I didn't wait that long. Oh well. Looks like we got a few more bites, and then we'll finish off that uh, that float. Oh, come here, cheese curd. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we dig out this huge chunk of ice cream to show you guys. So that is like a very large globule of ice cream. And I guess you could maybe poke it. Get, oh, there we go. We got some off. It's like um, the, the ice cream that you'd get if you pulled apart an ice cream sandwich. That's what it kind of tastes like. Sometimes it's good to melt your ice cream into the root beer. But it's kind of fun to dig it out. Again, I, I prefer it to be soft serve. But this is fine. This is a, a nice treat. Thanks to all my subscribers who've told me, next time you go there, get uh, get the float. Um, I had no idea it existed. I'm gonna finish off this awesome float and then we'll hit the hay. All right. Uh, I decided to move my car. It was over there by the light standard, but the light was coming straight through my sunroof. Uh, and it was also illuminating through the side windows as well. So uh, I didn't want to have that bright light in here the whole time. I'm thinking about maybe getting some window coverings just to stop that extra light coming in. Especially these bigger uh, plazas with lots of lighting. It's like there's no real dark spot to park. And if it is a really dark spot, I don't want to be there. Uh, so I don't mind a little bit of light coming in. But... Uh, yeah, this is fine. So I'm going to get my sleeping bag out, ready to go. Um, I did bring track pants. I did bring uh, a hoodie. I did bring actually my YouTube winter hat, just in case it gets that chilly in the morning. It shouldn't get that chilly in the morning, but I don't have any hair. I'm not sure if you noticed, but uh, it's best to uh, always have a hat, a nice hat nearby when you're camping. Um, all right, so let's get this stuff ready and then we'll say goodnight. All right guys, so I got the uh, sleeping bag out all ready, nice and warm. It's actually uh, 19 degrees out tonight, so uh, hopefully it doesn't go much lower than that. Uh, but uh, I'll have my hoodie, I'm back up. I got my long sleeve shirt on at the moment. Don't need my hat at the moment. So uh, have a good night and we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is six. 28 and the sun rises today at 629 apparently doesn't look like it's coming up it's starting to rain the rain woke me up about five minutes ago and uh 
Uh, had a good night's sleep. I think it was the best sleep I had out of the th four times that I've done this. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm just getting used to it or maybe it was less noisy here. No, we just have to wait. I'm not, it said that they open at 7.30, or sorry, at seven o'clock, but at 6.30 and nobody showed up. I don't know how long it takes them to show up and get things ready. Hang on. As you can see, the groundskeeper just went by. And like I said, he's frantically keep, that's probably his truck. The big white truck kind of looks like a maintenance truck. So I guess that's one of his gigs is to tidy up all the garbage around this property and then move on to the next one. But I guess because it's starting to rain, he's moving quickly, <laughs> which anybody else would. Anyway, so we have to wait till seven o'clock before the A&W opens. We'll see you at breakfast. Ciao. It is seven o'clock. I've seen people go through the drive-thru already. So uh, let's get up and uh, it's just after seven and uh, get some grub on. I'm gonna sneak out this door. Just as I try to sneak out, a car comes by. At least it stopped raining. Pull down our stealth camping sheet. There we go. It's deflating. All right, it's time to get some breakfast. I am really, really hoping that they've got something special for breakfast for us today. We'll see. I have a bad feeling. I think it's gonna be just a sandwich. Sandwich meal. We might be surprised, we might be surprised. Good morning, how you doing? Good, how are you? All right, uh, are you still on a limited uh, breakfast menu? Yeah. So you don't have any pancakes or anything? Oh well, no, we have. You do have pancakes? Yeah. All right. Okay, I'll do the three pancakes. Okay, anything else? Uh, and can we get an English muffin sausage egger, please? With a egger, okay. large black coffee and a hash brown. Large black coffee? Yes, please. And a hash brown and pancake will be three to four minutes of heat. Is that okay? I will wait. Okay, try it, please. Thank you. As you can see how shocked I was and surprised that they actually had pancakes, man. This is phenomenal. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Okay, thanks. All right, let's park it, guys. Wait for our food. Takes a little bit longer when you're getting the special pancakes, but because they're special pancakes, we're gonna wait. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Nice you too. Yeah. Oh, I forgot your coffee. Just one more. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Just black coffee. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just forgot the black coffee. Hang on. It was already poured. He just forgot on the counter. Fantastic. Okay, your bag, okay? Thanks. Thank you and sorry for wait. Have a no. good night. Night. <laughs> he said good night. <laughs> it's the morning. Silly guy. He even got me to say it. All right, guys, we're all set up. Let's go in for a close-up. Check out this huge breakfast, ladies and gentlemen. That coffee is looking nice and hot and steamy. Can't wait to get that caffeine into my body. And over here, we got the English muffin sausage and egger with a slice of cheese. It looks nicely toasted, that English muffin. And over here, people, first time ever, trying the pancakes everything kind of slid off and the at least they they gave us butter in this one i'm really happy about that we got smucker's breakfast syrup no artificial flavors and over here is our hash browns which we'll munch on first are you guys ready holy cow let's do this all right let's wash our hands very important Wash your hands away from your breakfast. Big tip right there. 
All right, first up is the hash browns. Mmm, crunchy, savory, golden brown. Oh yeah. Today we're trying a coffee. Sleeve on, show the logo. Mmm, another great way to start a day. Oh, that is beautiful, beautiful. Now it's time to take a bite of the English muffin sausage and agar. Would you guys put anything on this? Ketchup, salt, pepper? I usually just eat them straight up. And that's real cheddar cheese, ladies and gentlemen. A few more bites of that beauty and we're done. All right, today we get to use both cold forged utensils, the knife and the fork. But first, I guess we've got to spread that butter first. There we go, much better. Yes, a little bit there, a little bit there. Spread it around. Next up is the syrup, Schmucker syrup. I don't recall ever having Schmucker syrup before, I probably have. Lick the lead. You know you like it. Here we go. Oh yeah. Gotta love that syrup on your pancakes. I maybe should have got two. But this should be enough, I think. Yeah, I don't need more than that. It is still going strong. Look at that. And W, you don't disappoint, do you? Let's go in for our first bite of an A&W pancake. Not bad. Not bad at all. Definitely the butter helps huge. Well, once again, I'm being surprised by pancakes from fast food places. They're good. Hey, it's Pac-Man. Because I thought they still had the limited uh, breakfast menu items, I thought for sure I was gonna be doing like one of the egg sandwiches and then wait for uh, lunchtime and then do their fish and chips. But I have done their fish uh, in past videos. So I think we need to do their full breakfast for lunch. Uh, and luckily they stopped serving that lunch or that breakfast at 11 o'clock. So we, uh, maybe just before 11, we'll go in there and get that food and come back here and eat it with you. See you then. All right, guys, it is 20 to 11, 10 40. And we are going to hit the drive through one last time here at A&W. And let's hope they have that all Canadian breakfast and an orange juice. Welcome to A&W, how may I help you? Hi, may I please have the all Canadian breakfast and an orange juice, please? All Canadian breakfast and orange juice, right? That's it, thank you. Okay, in all Canadian, what egg would you like? We have a over thigh, over easy, over medium, over hard, sunny side up, and... <laughs> Scramble. Let's do sunny side up, thank you. Okay, and we have a toast like white bread, brown bread. White bread, please. White bread, okay. You got strawberry jam? Yeah. Okay, just strawberries, fine. Okay, 1235, please, thank you. Thank you. $12.35. Last meal of the day. Hello. So you can park anywhere in our parking, I will bring to you, okay? Thank you very much, sir. All right, people, let's park it and wait for our eggs. Thank you very much, sir. There we go. I'm sorry for waiting. That's all right. Thank you. Have, have a great a day. day. Thank you. I have everything in your bag, okay? Awesome. Thank Thanks. You. Let's do an unveiling of this all-Canadian breakfast. Got the plastic top. We'll throw that in the recycling bin. The other thing I forgot to mention with the pancakes is they use a paper plate, uh, which is great. Not more plastic. It's easier to compost. But let's go in for a close-up. Oh my goodness, check out this breakfast. I think this is probably one of the best breakfast presentations out of every single restaurant that I have ever been to for fast food. Do you agree or disagree with that statement? Let me know in the comments below. I got my cold forged knife and fork set, which will help with this meaty sausage and bacon. We got those hash browns, white toast, perfectly toasted. We've got two beautiful red tomatoes. 
and two perfectly cooked sunny side eggs. We got our orange juice off to the side. Are you guys ready for this? Oh my goodness, let's do it. Let's do a quick sip. To all you guys out there who are loving my stealth camping videos, cheers to you. That's a lot of orange juice. I should have said small. It is wonderful. I'm gonna put my bread off to the side so we can dig in. I'm gonna try and get a little piece of hash brown, a little piece of bacon. Oh yeah, a little piece of sausage. This is gonna be incredible. And my bacon fell off, but let's dip into the egg again. Look at this. Look at this. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, Ken. Here we go. Look at that runniness. The combination of those three items, four items, let's do a little bit of tomato. Do you guys like tomatoes with your breakfast? I'm, I'm, I'm just recently started liking that. So a little egg, a little, let me see if I can get a piece of sausage. All right, we got some sausage, egg, tomato. I know a lot of people in like England, they do the whole tomato with their breakfast thing. Do you guys do that in the States? And again, I'm not a huge fan uh, or never was a fan, but now I am. All right, it's back on. <laughs> Again, a little bit of hash brown, egg, bacon, sausage. It's just all those ingredients put together. And let's try it with a little tomato. All right, let's see what else we can get. Let's see if we get this big, huge chunk of bacon. That sausage again. Hash browns. I don't think it's going to work. The fork is not long enough to get that much food on there. But doesn't that look wonderful? Mm-hmm. Sloppy but yummy. What I also like to do near the end of my feast, it's buttered, is to get the one piece that might have got the most contaminated with all the, the juices and stuff from the egg. And I like to mop it all up with my toast. Not wasting one little piece of this beautifully cooked egg. And then on the last three pieces, I try to use up all my my jam that they gave me. Hmm, look at that. A little breakfast sandwich right there. Once again, it's Smuckers to the rescue. I love Smuckers jam. Definitely have had this all my life. Let's get it a nice big chunk of Smuckers. Flip that over, put it on the buttered side maybe. Oh yeah. A little peanut butter would be great too. I'm not sure if they have peanut butter here. You gotta spread that jam in the sunshine. The sun is just glistening off that beautiful jam. Oh yeah, what's your favorite jam? Leave a comment, comment section below. Perfect way to end off a perfect breakfast. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you love this 24 hour stealth camping at A&W here in Barrie, Ontario, Canada. I enjoyed making this video as much as hopefully you loved watching it. Let me know in the comments below where you'd like to see me eat next. That would be fantastic. If you love this video and you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're hungry for more, check out this awesome playlist over here and we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.